Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Ajo here with KissAnalog.com. So guys, I just want to give you kind of an update on the channel, what's going on, and why I haven't published videos in a little bit. And I kind of want to talk about last year and what's going to happen this year, okay? And, uh, and, and what the idea of the channel is, what I'm trying to do. And I want to know what your guys' input is and what you'd like to see. Comments below would be great help. I really appreciate that. So, in the last year, actually in the last few months, I've been kind of growing a little bit better. It's been great. Uh, sometimes it's a little demoralizing. <laughs> you know, you put a bunch of work in. You've been, been doing this for a few years now. Uh, four years now, I guess. And sometimes, uh, yeah, you just feel like throwing it in the towel. <laughs> but no, I'm going to keep at this because I really like it. It's just that sometimes things come up and uh, I'm going to explain... Um, explain a few things here in a moment here, but let's just first. I just want to say last year what happened that was good last year is I got up to twenty one thousand subscribers. That's awesome, and I got you know my Patreon account was pretty much stagnant for a long time, uh, really a, all the way through COVID. So that's been a long time for length of my channel, right? But just recently, it's kind of gone up a little bit. So that's been really nice because that helps me buy things. Uh, I buy a lot of stuff for the channel, and I get things given to me too. For instance, uh, Kai Wheats has been great for the channel. This is Kai Wheats Power Supply. Matrix has been great. They've given me some stuff too. Uh, power Supply up here, a load here. Now this, this guy here, I actually bought this... Well, I think I paid half price. I bought it and then they refunded me half price or something. So, uh, and then Mixig. Last year I bought a scope and then they refunded me, I want to say half of it or 30% or something. They gave me a good deal. But this year they gave me this one and they're going to send me uh, some more probes. So that's, that's going to be really cool. So, you know, reviewing equipment I think is great uh, because it helps show people you know, what to look for and what to buy that want to build a bench and, you know, what's useful and what's not. I did a ramp video. I've done a few ramp videos, like on multimeters. I kind of picked on Fluke because they just really haven't done anything. They have this great name, but over the last 20 years, God, I don't know if they've designed a meter. <laughs> but people love Fluke. I used to use Flukes a lot. Now I've found so many other meters I like. Anyway, I did a rant on that. I did a rant on audio stuff, like audio amplifier uh, companies, and kind of talked about how they really can't afford um, big engineering teams. They have a few engineers on even bigger audio companies. They only have a few engineers, and it's kind of amazing uh, the lack of engineering, or the lack of high-end engineering. And there's so many audiophiles that spend so much money on power cables and things like that. And I did a rant video on that. Um, I'm an audio, en I'm an engineer, electrical engineer. Um, and I've worked in the space industry for many years. I've worked in, I've done medical lasers. I, I did a video on my background. So you can search KISS Analog uh, background or KISS Analog um, Kai Wheats or whatever you want to. And that'll be a way for you to find videos. I have playlists on a lot of things. What I really wanted to do when I started this channel was teach people how to do power supply designs. That's my specialty. Also, audio amplifiers. Um, it's been something I've been interested in for years, and I'm really interested in Class Ds. I'm trying to get in that. This is a Class A amplifier right here, and I'm trying to show the difference. Is there a difference between Class A and Class D? I don't really know for sure yet. I'm still investigating this. And I'm going to investigate power cords. I'm going to show you guys some measurements on power cords this next year. I'm going to show you measurements on interconnects and speaker cables, things like that. So we talked about speaker crossovers. I'm going to show you how to design those. So I, I really want to show people how to uh, design their own speaker crossovers, um, how to modify amplifiers, or even design their own. But... Uh, so I've got some kits and some things I want to develop and also I've got a bunch of audio amplifiers down here that I need to review still and I've got some nice equipment now that some I bought 
some I have been given. So that's really great. So, um, but yeah, I got to tell you, I buy a lot of parts and I, recently I've been buying a lot of counterfeit parts. I'm going to do a video on that, but it's really frustrating because, you know, I want to get this amplifier done and I needed an op amp and counterfeit op amps are terrible these days. So anyway, I want to talk about that and how to avoid that and how to get around that. But I've actually bought a bunch lately from different suppliers, so we'll, we'll talk about that. But yeah, I want to do, uh, and then also if you buy a power supply for, you know, like something like this, this is a great power supply, these Kai Wheats power supplies up here. You buy something at low cost, but yet you want to, maybe it's not perfect, you know, I kind of showed how to modify these to get the, the ripple noise a little bit more quiet. So I want to do things like that. I've got a lot of design stuff I want to uh, help with and show people how to design their own uh, power supplies for audio amplifiers. I've done some videos on these, but I want to do more. And I think when you do more videos that you see different, you know, each time it'll have a different angle to it. So you'll pick up different things. But um, yeah, so I, I like to know what you guys want to see, but I've tried to so show simulation software microcaps free now. I've done videos on that. And microcaps an awesome simulation tool. Um, as far as board design, there's dip trace, which is awesome. But there's also the key CAD, which is free. And I'm going to show how both of those, I'm going to show more videos of both of those tools. I've got a collaboration with John Audio Tech, which I have kind of really poorly performed on that. I need to get some videos out. I want to finish that and get that going. And so there's some things that have come up in the last few months that have kind of slowed me down on some of this. But I did find how to do shorts. And some people might not like them. I, I kind of put it off for a while, but my wife said, well, you don't really have time. Why don't you just do some shorts? So I did. I put out some shorts. Let me know what you guys think about that. I have I know some people don't like them. Some people do. But they're the one-minute videos are shorter. So I've done some shorts just to kind of put something out there. Um, so we've had a couple of deaths in the family. And one of them hit me pretty hard. And so, um, yeah, so... You know, I'm just kind of getting over that one. And so, um, yeah, things like that. Life, right? Life happens. So, anyway, I'm going to get some videos out there. I'm really excited about the channel and, and where it's going. And I've we've got enough people on the channel now. And I've got some really great equipment. And I've got, geez, I've got boxes of boards i got to build for amplifiers and power supplies. And like I said, I'm a power supply designer, so I want to share that. And, and I really want to be able to put together, and I, I might even, I've thought about doing a book for a long time. I might do uh, some step-by-step -step guides, some recipe guides, which I've done that before for other companies. I think I might do that on this, I, I, I want to do that on this channel. Basically a step-by-step. -step. And I basically tried to do that for audio amplifier designs. If you look back at a playlist where I show how to design a power supply for an audio amplifier. And by the way, you know, people call them linear power supplies. They're not really linear power supplies. The audio community um, has been suckered. <laughs> it's kind of a rant I did. Uh, and they just don't uh, regulate a power supply because it's expensive and it creates heat. And so they've, they've got, they've done a great job of selling off the idea that it's okay to do that. And oh, by the way, it makes the amplifier sound better, but it doesn't. It's BS. It's total BS. And um, so if you linearly regulate a power supply, then you can call it a linear power supply. If you don't regulate the power supply, it is a low frequency switching power supply. The diodes are switching on and off, commutating 60 cycles a second or 50 cycles a second wherever you happen to be and who has heard about hum 60 hertz hum 50 hertz hum we all have audio guys know that you've known that power supplies suck and amplifiers for a long time but we get by with that we'll spend thousands of dollars on power cables because we think it's going to make things better 
But meanwhile, we let the audio amplifiers get away with not regulating their freaking power supplies. Anyway, going off around again, but um, but it's true. And uh, there's nothing good about a non-regulated power supply. Nothing. Just nothing. It's just BS. <laughs> it's it's a it's a the audio community. It's full of BS. I mean, they used to you know say power was umpteen watts because they'd go peak power plus a minus peak. I mean, all these things, and some of it's been regulated, some of it hasn't, a lot of it hasn't, and you know, it's people love their audio, and they can be sold on about any idea like a power cable making a difference. So I know that gets people, but it, they don't make a difference. So, um, you know, the placebo effect is live and well, and it's okay if you enjoy that, and if you like the looks of a big old cable and you want to spend thousands of dollars, go ahead, knock yourself out. I showed a cable on my rant that covers all those check marks that people like about those high-end cables, but it's 50 bucks. Buy it on Amazon. You don't need to buy that. You can buy a $5 cable, whatever. But if you want to check all those boxes, and instead of saying 50 bucks, if I said it was 500 bucks, people would buy it. <laughs> it's just the way it is. But anyway, I'm ranting again. But uh, So I do want to show how to design stuff. I want to show what cables make a difference and what don't. I'm not saying interconnects don't make a difference, but I am saying you don't have to spend a lot of money to buy a good interconnect. Uh, silver versus copper. <laughs> I'm not going to say much about that, but I'm going to show you. If you think it makes a difference if it's bright because it's silver and copper, it's just ridiculous. But anyway, we'll, we'll talk about those kind of things too, okay? Now, it is true that Anything a signal passes through can have a noise effect uh, associated with that. So, yeah, we'll we'll test that. You know, I, I could definitely be wrong on some of the interconnect stuff and speaker cables. I know they make a difference. I just don't think you have to spend a lot of money. I have nice cables. Uh, they're just not part of my system because they don't make a difference. And I just haven't bothered to connect them up. <laughs> anyway... But I'm going to show you guys stuff. I'm going to take some measurements. And people talk about, oh, thousands of people have done double-blind tests, and, and, they, and you're wrong. Cause they're, but really? Because I haven't seen those published. I haven't heard. No one. It's, it's the belief can't. Say I'm ranting again. So, sorry. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, things have come up. And I've had a hard time putting out videos in the last week or so. But I'm going to pick that back up I've got I'm looking around I've got projects everywhere and I clear cleared out my storage that some of you guys have heard about I got equipment everywhere I want to review I got all this Heath kit stuff some really cool Heath kit stuff I want to show you guys but once I show it to you I want to sell it get rid of it whatever I'm going to give some stuff away and by the way the giveaway I was going to do at Thanksgiving and at Christmas I've got people picked out for those things and not for everything my patrons haven't spoke up. No one's asking for anything. <laughs> so I've got one or two patrons picked out for things. That, but yeah, uh, they're like, hey, we want to donate to your channel. Which, if you want to become a patron, that's awesome. There's links down below. But yeah, they just don't want meters now. They're saying, hey, give it to people who need it. <laughs> so they're awesome. I mean, the pa I don't have a lot of patrons, but the ones I have are just amazing. They're awesome, guys. So, I really appreciate them. And, uh, yeah, I want to start giving shout-outs. I'm just not sure. I know some of them have asked me not to use their names. And I need to... And the list changes all the time, so I need to go back and get that list again and share that with the people who I can share. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support and all that kind of stuff. And this video has probably gone way too long. I was just going to make it a short video just saying, hey, I'm still here. I've got lots of plans for next year. I really plan on kicking it up. And I want to get projects where um, people can go off buy the boards from the Chinese, you know, from the board houses that I find. I want to find a way where it's inexpensive for you guys to get 
things. And also the book reviews and doing simulations and sharing those circuits and that. I'm going to have memberships on the YouTube channel, which I'm going to enable pretty quick here. And I'm going to give uh, the people on that, you know, free you know, smacks. They can get it now. Email me and I'll send you things. Uh, patrons, anything I have that you want, I can send you. Um, you know, schematics or simulations or all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, I want to provide more things for my patrons and for the members of the YouTube channel. And so I want to do some live videos. That's something I need to figure out. I need to figure out the... I need to watch some videos to see how to do that again. I start boning up on this stuff. And right when I think I've got the information, then some time goes by and I'm like, ah, oh, I need to find out you know things change all the time so i need to look into that again but thanks for watching guys really appreciate it sorry that i've just blabbered on here but yeah just kind of want to tell you that sorry about not posting and i will make it up to you <laughs> but book reviews i've done some where you can get the books free i want to do more of those i got lots of books for my storage and that I'm going to see what I can do about maybe giving some away, maybe selling them. I really need to sell some stuff so I can turn that money into more stuff because uh, I need to grow my lab and do things. And, and this channel, uh, it's actually pretty expensive. It's I call it a hobby, and it's been an expensive hobby. And just recently, just in the last couple months, um, you know, it's been picking up a little bit. So I've got hopefully by this time next year i'll be able to uh, get some money to be able to buy some things so <laughs> yeah well anyway uh appreciate all your support and also um there is that one time thank you button that youtube added and that's been great just recently i've had people um you know buying me cups of coffee and stuff or you know donating on that it's like way to do a one-time donation and i know some people don't like patreon uh for whatever reasons and i'm not saying they're wrong or right about that i mean patreon does take a a chunk of that money before they give it to me so um but the youtube thing i think it's a little bit more fair i'm not sure so i'm going to start that up and we'll see i i honestly don't have the time to do the research to find out which one's better and all these kind of things because I have a day job. I come home, say hi to the wife, come down here, try to do a video, and sometimes I run into problems and several days go by before I can actually do the video that I came down here to do. So, yeah, so some of these videos actually take a lot more work than what you can see on the camera. <laughs> ah, life and times, right? But it's fun. I like it. And I, I like the idea that people from India, from England, you know, from Russia, from all over the world, you know, Norway, reach out to me, Denmark, you know, just everywhere and and say hi or thank you. Uh, you taught me something. And that means a lot because I think it's awesome that we have this ability to reach out to everyone around the world and, and help people. We're all, you know, we're all part of the same peas in a pot right and sometimes governments get in the way but in this case YouTube allows us to talk to each other so that's super cool and hope to teach you guys more stuff and you guys teach me stuff too so I appreciate that anyway I'm gonna sign off this has gone way too long thanks for watching and give me your comments down below appreciate it guys and uh, and uh, I'm sure there's things I wanted to say that I forgot. I went off ranting about other things. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you later, and we'll see you next video.